Norm Tesla back with another quick tip. This one is a bit of a guide and tip rolled into one. I hope you like it. So today I'm going to be talking about Sentry and how to work it. If you're familiar with Sentry and just want the tip, skip ahead a bit. One of the best features of our cars is Sentry. It keeps our cars safe and gives me peace of mind when I'm parked in an unfamiliar location. Its main function is to prevent theft and vandalism. And if something actually does happen to your car, it's a great evidence. Look at this guy, he's in there less than 10 seconds. But guess what? We have the plate now. And now with the most recent app update, we have live Sentry View. Now mind you, only in the States so far. There's a bunch of ways to turn it on, so let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna to go to controls. Now over here in safety and security, you just tap that, and then uh, just scroll down a bit and you'll see Sentry Mode. Now turning it on, now you can also exclude home, exclude work, or exclude your favorites. Because sometimes you just don't need Sentry at these locations and it saves power. Now one thing most people don't know is that Tesla actually can record a backup of your Sentry footage. Now you just have to allow data sharing down here. If you hit yes to all of these, you'll allow data sharing and Tesla could have a backup of your Sentry in case you ever needed it. You can also turn Sentry on from up here like so. Alternatively, you can turn it on and off from the app. For dash cam, you just need a storage device plugged in and it will be activated. For 2021 models, you'll most likely have an included Tesla USB and that will be in your glove box. You're gonna wanna have dash cam enabled at all times. It's really gonna save you one day. And the best part about Tesla is that unlike all the aftermarket dash cams available out there, Tesla has all angles covered. So your dash cam options are gonna be manual and auto. With manual, you're just gonna have to press and hold the icon to save a 10 minute recording. With auto, it will save automatically once the vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event. And then on honk, it's always good. Obviously if uh, someone's gonna cut you off, you wanna honk the horn. Also a good idea not to have like a Jiracha player. So now that you have all this footage recorded, in order to view it, you wanna go up here, tap the icon, and then you'll see launch viewer. From the menu here, you'll have access to your Sentry recordings, as well as all your dash cam. The tip comes when you need to disconnect your device. With viewing options in the car and the app, you're less likely to need to remove it, but if you do, let's say to download footage, or if you have music or boombox media on your USB, then this is how you properly eject it without the risk of corrupting your files. It's pretty simple, actually. You wanna turn off Sentry, as well as long press on the dash cam icon, and that'll turn it off. Alternatively, you can also just turn it off in the menu. So that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe for more tips. Like I've said, you won't generally find these in a YouTube search, so subscribing is the only way to guarantee you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.